Welcome to the Actuary Magic Channel. I'm Steve with the Actuary. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So uh, I wanted to share with you that I'm kind of a, um, I kind of fo hyper focus, and my ADD hyper focuses me on particular commanders. Um, and I wanted to share with you what those commanders are. One of them is, and how I manage the, the decks that I build. One of them is Hamza. Hamza is a 5 5 that reduces the casting costs of creatures you uh, control. Um, and so the other one I have is Alesha, who smiles at death and uh, puts creatures from your graveyard back into the battlefield tapped and attacking. So um, I want to share with you really quick how I deal with these. So I've got um, my uh, Hamza deck, I have my $800 version, the rest of it there. And then I have my Alesha, you know, the thousand, whatever dollar amount that that ends up being. So I have my expensive versions, but I also, um, I also like to brew with inexpensive versions. And so um, because Alesha plays so well with budget cards, I also happen to keep Alesha, um, like a $30 version of that deck with another copy of the commander here. And so what I'll have is I'll have my $30 copy my um, $800 copy, whatever. And then I will have cards that are I associate with that deck, with that build. And so the this pile of cards are cards that I've proven do well with Alesha. And these pile of cards, um, I'm testing out to see if they're gonna work well, uh, if they're gonna do the thing that I want them to do. Um, and so I like this because now it means that I can uh, change my power level and still play the commander that I wanna play. Um, but then, so there's that way of doing it. Well, with my Hamza deck, currently, I don't have a second version of the deck put together, but it's not hard for me to go ahead and put one together. So I've got a binder, and these I think are like eight bucks, seven, eight bucks, something like that, at least I think. They're really, really cheap, really budget. And I will put all of the cards that I am um, going to build the next deck with here. Whenever I'm in the process of building a deck out, and I don't have all of the pieces yet, I won't necessarily sleeve them up like this. I'll go ahead and put them in one of these binders so that I can see that I'm not duplicating things, that I am, um, I'm getting the right mana curves. I can see everything in a neat orderly way. This is the way I like to do that. Um, especially with decks that require more fine tuning. I find that Hamza is a lot more finicky as a deck than Alesha is. Alesha, you just kind of turn the thing on and it runs. Whereas Hamza needs a lot of gentle care with the way you build it. Um, but I also want to share with you how I travel with my decks. So um, if I'm going to an event I'm going to be playing quite a bit, I have this bad boy. And these are very, very common uh, in the Magic the Gathering community. Um, if we do the math on this, I'd get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, depending on if I'm going to have dice or not. So if I'm going to have the dice inside the box. And then so I also have one of these boxes. So I only carry ten commander decks. One of these boxes will be dedicated to my tokens for the rest of the decks. So I'll have ten uh, um, commander decks and um, tokens and then a pile of dice to go with it. And that's all kind of self-contained, so all I have to do is carry my map. Now, I want to mention that these there's a several versions of this kind of um, these Stanley boxes that you can buy. Um, so there's a Stanley version, and there's the uh, Home Depot version. Um, those are the two that I recommend. And so, and the reason why I recommend those two over, say, other brands is because other brands of these storage device, uh, storage boxes like to have corners that aren't square. Uh, if you have a corner that's not square and it's got like a rectangle over here, like a kind of a cutoff like that, what it can do is it can start warping the corners of your cards over time and start bending those cards and damaging those sleeves. And I, I just don't like it. The next part that I want to mention is that whenever you buy one of these, there's a, it's kind of, it's really hard to see, but there is usually a little tiny nub here in the center you can just barely make it out right there, okay? Now, um, and so it's the back here. The, yeah, that little thing right there. Yeah, it's on the other side. It's a raised hump. And what you need to do is you need to cut that off. And here's an example of that I've cut it off. And the way that I cut it off is I use a little razor blade. 
I put the razor blade in there and I scrape like and I scrape like this. I just bring it up over the top of that. And so um, just be careful with the razor blade, but being able to get rid of that little hump will help protect your cards from getting raised there in the center and then rolling the edges of your card sleeves. Um, I will note that the Harbor Freight and the Stanley versions are not interchangeable, these trays. Um, I've got two of the Stanley and I got two of the Harbor Freight and I have to make sure that I remember which one goes with which and I have to just check it. It's not hard to figure out. But um, anyway, so that's how I travel and I um, manage my building, my different decks. I love building the same deck over and over again because it always seems like there's new toys for the my pet commanders. And so I um, hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow on the next build. Oh, uh, thank you so much for showing up in droves to my channel. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Where's my button?